Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack back in the building. You know what I do. Today I wanted to give you guys a little insight on some of the stuff I talk about as to why I talk about it. Now, the question was asked of me, why am I not pro-black and why do I not discuss topics that deal with the pro-black issues in nature? Now, let me tell you something. First of all, I'm an American, first and foremost, if travel overseas, I told you the whole nine. I know I'm black. I know the situation that goes on in America. I'm not ignorant to none of the facts. But the fact remains, why I'm not religiously pro-black is you do, if I go, like I said, I don't even prove groups on Facebook. And I can go on these pro-black, so-called pro-black groups, and there are some, there, let me get you, let me tell you, there are a lot of people who are trying to help out black people. There are a lot of people trying to tell you, you know, do for self, etc., group economics and all that. But there is a remnant of the black community that does not want to take responsibility for anything. They want to keep blaming people. They want to look for excuses. They want to condone a lot of fuckery. They want to condone a lot of stupid stuff. And they're hindering the process. And technically, they're the real agents. Let me tell you about these folks. There's folks in the black community who, if you try to do something, they will say this religiously. Oh, the white man won't let you do that. The white man won't let you do this. You can't do that because of the white man. Let me tell you something, folks. In this day and age, it's economics. It's not whether you're black or white. Sure, there's some places where there's probably, you know, so-and-so don't like you because you're black. You guys don't like so-and-so because they're white. I mean, what's the difference? The fact is, it's this. That's why I don't talk about pro-black stuff, because like, I go on Facebook, and we, we were having a discussion the other day. And I was, we were talking about, you know, welfare, how, how it's a detriment to the community. And there was a lot of the saying, look, man, you people need to get off welfare, start using the programs that are in welfare to get off welfare. And you know, then, and like I said, I, I, don't, I don't, there's people there who need welfare because they have to, it's for, for their life. I understand, it's people who need it. But it's the people who are getting fucking silver anniversaries, golden anniversaries, people who've been living on it their whole life and not working, but can work, that I'm talking about. And you get on Facebook, and you got a lot of these little, MSNBC political wannabes want to, want to twist your words. Uh, are you saying that uh, poor people shouldn't deserve welfare? I never said that. What I'm saying is that people who can work and not looking for work, I shouldn't have, myself and the other taxpayers shouldn't have to foot that bill. Now, where I come from, that's called socialist and communism. But then again, a lot of black people, I'm telling you, a lot of black people are communists. They're communists. They want, they want the government to take care of them. And I'm not saying it's just black people, but I'm talking about it because that's the topic at hand I'm dealing with. That's the topic at hand that comes to me. I, like I said, my, my Italian friends are worried about their Italian brothers and sisters. My Polish friends are worried about their Polish brothers and sisters. My Russian friends are worried about their Russian brothers and sisters, and so on and so forth. You can, you, a lot of people cannot deal with this fact. Yes, we're Americans, but at the same time, people are dealing with facts in their community. Like the Russians don't worry about what we're doing. Why are we always worried about what they're doing? Well, they're not doing that. What the fuck you worry about what they're, what they're doing? If you if you were more concerned about your, your your community, like like I hear you guys say you're worried about community, shit would change. But you know what it is? A lot of you guys, and I'm sorry, I hate to say this, the, it, it, I think it's a 50-50 person. I think half of us want to do better and are doing better, and I think the other half just don't want to do it because they they know that they. they if they do it, they lose that white man as their line is blanket. They can't, they'll have to, well, they can't use that no more. Because you know why? Because other people are doing it. That's why they call you sellouts and call us sellouts and call us, they say we throw them under the bus, we don't care about black people. No, look, it's like this. I don't want to live like that. I'm, I, I've seen people live there. I experienced it when we were younger. Like whenever I, the old man would get laid off, my mom got laid off. Like I said, we come from steel mill, mill factory stuff. And as I said, we got off for like what? We got off for like two months and the old man went back to work. He got called back to work. He got off a layoff. But the time of employment was bullshitting around. And he said, yes, we were on it. So I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not denying nobody. 
And then, you know, and then these people, and here's another thing these people want to do. They want to make asinine comments, or stupid ass comments like, well, well, what do you, what do, you do to fix the situation? Number one, let me tell these folks something. Personally, what I do, I don't brag. Here, here's what you guys don't understand, and you guys will never understand, coming from your viewpoint. I don't have to go around banging the drum, talking about what I do all day, to pat myself on the back. I know what I do to help people. People who know me know what I do to help people. People on the internet have seen what I've done to help people. I don't need to have make a video to tell you what I do. But just, just, just for all you crybabies and all you fuckers that sit on your ass and don't do nothing, I'm gonna tell you something I do at my job. We, all, we have these charities that we can donate to. And so what did I do? I went to a charity that I, I specifically wanted this. I went to a charity that helps the poor and disenfranchised. I told them to take X amount of dollars out of my paycheck, which happens every week. So while you guys are sitting back there waving a red, blue, and red green off a red, black, and green flag and not doing shit, there's people like me, and here's where I get mad because there's people like me, and I'm, I'm not the only one. There's literally millions probably out there that, that are doing something, and sick of you lazy bastards trying to claim shit that you're not doing. We're out here trying to help, and you're fucking up for the rest of us. What's not happening no more? And then here, here's what gets me. They come at you with some of the dumbest shit. They come at you with. They come with like like obvious stuff. They, whenever you, whenever they can't beat your argument or your debate on, or they they know they're losing, they'll call you a name. They'll say obvious shit that everybody knows. Then I'm gonna give you an example. You know, they'll say, "Well, you do know birds have feathers, right?" And I'm like, "What the fuck does that have to do with the conversation over here?" I'm like, oh. and, then, and then they'll get the, they'll get the rest of the fucking idiots who are on the platform with them. Well, you know the right that you can't deny the birds don't have feathers. And I'm thinking to myself. What the fact that birds have, I mean, yes, birds have feathers, we can all agree on it. That does not change what we're talking about economically. And like what it is, is they pull strings out of what it is. A lot of them, a lot of people are finally getting their like, beliefs or the beliefs that they thought that were true, they're getting shattered right now. And a lot of people ain't trying to hear that bullshit. So now their only defense is to name call you and to bring up obvious shit that like, here's another one, here's another one that they always like to bring up. And, and, and let, me, let me point out, the obvious shit they bring up is stuff that they heard recently that you've been known about. Or they'll go, well, you do know the NWO or the Illuminati is real. Yes, I know about the NWO. I know about the Illuminati. But here's what you idiots don't fucking understand. And yes, I'm calling you fucking idiots. They don't care if you buy, they don't care if you buy Charmin or Cottonell. They just want you to buy toilet paper. When you stop buying toilet paper, first of all, you're nasty and you over buy the toilet paper. Second of all, if you don't buy the toilet paper, then they're going to say, well, why aren't you buying it? Then they're going to get involved. The Illuminati does not control over each individual's life like you think it is. It is, there here we go again, group economics. That's why in your neighborhoods, you don't control shit. You may have the occasional rib shed, hair cutting joint, and, you know, tape CD thing, and, you know, you may have one on Liberty ghetto tax services and they should have blocks in the hood so what else are in the hoods uh you may have a chicken shack and you know you may have a other than that we don't control a lot of stuff even your nursery schools are not controlled they're controlled by the state so this is why this is why i'm getting fed up with like a lot of these groups and i told a couple groups i fell back from them because i fell back because I, I don't feel i don't have time to deal with the dumb stuff i hear in these groups like when you want to, you, and the people go, well, what's the sense of having these things? Well, nothing's getting accomplished. That's what a fucking debate's for, idiot. This is why you get up and you discuss the topics. See, here's what I tell people. The people want to worry about religion this and third. And yes, you have to worry about it if it's fanatical. My point is this. I don't care if you're a kinetic science. I don't care if you're a Muslim. I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're Jewish. Whatever brings, whatever, however you find spiritual peace in your life and it's working for you, good. Just don't get fanatical with it. I can build with that. I can build with, look, look, I don't care if you're homosexual. I can build with that. Just don't expect me to vote for it and condone it. I can, I can build for the community, but I cannot accept the behaviors. That's my personal opinion. Look, if a black homosexual wants to, if, if we're out, say we're out there at the, at the rec center out here, 
and say we're trying to get a program together to help the kids. Am I going to deny him? Like, if he wants to help? No, I'm not going to deny him because he wants to help. I mean, I may not agree with his lifestyle, but that's my personal opinion. He may not think I'm an asshole. That's his personal opinion and many other women's opinions. But still, it doesn't change the fact that we both want to help the kids. And a lot of you, a lot of you just want to talk. That's like, that's like, ladies, this is, I'm making this video after the 4th of July. A lot of these pro-black conscious people will cry and whine, talk about, well, I ain't celebrating the 4th of July because my ancestors were slaves and we weren't free and none of that. But yet, they were at your fucking barbecue, eating fucking ribs, drinking your natural light, and stealing all your food when it's time to go home with, a, with, with barbecue sauce on their mouth. They ain't celebrating the 4th. Get the fuck out of here, you hypocrite. See, black people don't understand is, they don't know what hypocrite, here's, here's the, here, I'm gonna give you aspects of black people don't know, where they need to study a form. They need to know what critical thinking is, they need to know what hypocrisy is, and they need to know when to shut the fuck of mouth. And that's the one thing that they don't, a lot of people don't understand. And then, oh, number four, learn to pick your fucking battles. Because a lot of people will pick, a lot of people will go down, and I, admit, I admire that to a point. When, when going down with the ship reveals your stupidity, that's when you need to shut the fuck up. But like I said, in this day and age, you can't get in and I, I blame all these single parents, these dads that are in their lives, and these moms are committing torture for free. For free! And these kids are fucked up, and they're getting, they're getting all their influence off of TV, and all, 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 hopefully, off of, you know, they're getting it from a good source, but the TV says it's not a good source. But like I said, a lot of stuff I can't condone no more, a lot of stuff that I won't put up with. Because see, here's what happened. You people don't understand this, and I'm going to explain something. People who like me and people who uh, people who have my same mentality understand this. I have a clear conviction. 